And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. It's time for Angela After Dark. Parenthood can be a wonderful gift, but for some, not so much. There's some parents out there who actually regret having their kids. And I'm not saying who actually. You know, I mean, it happens. You don't like them damn kids. <laughs> Joining me now to talk about it is therapist Dr. Angela Jones. She is here. And is it so bad? <laughs> <laughs> is it so bad if you you regret having children so a lot of people regret having yeah, children I know but a lot of people don't <laughs> say they regret having children uh -huh. because the thing is is that you seem like a horrible human being and a horrible right. parent but the thing that gets misconstrued is that people feel like since I regret having children they think that maybe they're treating their child bad and mm. that's not true they love their children you know right. I'm not saying everybody but they love their children they take care of their children. But it doesn't mean that having that child did not impact their life in a negative way now unfortunately there are those that regret having children and then also take it out on the child, which mm -hmm. is very abusive. And so, for those who are wondering, mm -hmm. if, they, if they have those thoughts in their mind, how should they deal with it? If you already have it in your mind and you know, I don't know if I want children, don't make any choices to have a child no, until I, you know. I mean, if you already got them little monsters. Oh, well, you can't do nothing about that, man. <laughs> but if you're having those thoughts, how do you reconcile that? Do you go to a therapist? Do yeah. you go to a counselor? Do you go to your, your priest or your, your, your pastor and say, here are the thoughts I'm having about the children I have. Right. And how do yeah. I deal with this? You, yes. You would definitely want to go to a therapist. Um, if you are sitting there and you're realizing that the fact that I regret having children is starting to come out in different ways, either in depression, sadness, or I'm acting out on the children, I don't have patience, I would definitely want you to see a professional because what's happening, what's manifesting inside of you is starting to project outwards. And if you don't want to damage another human being's life, then you need to get help. You're decision was your decision and no one else's and so when it projects itself outwards what does that look like how does that look uh, it, it can look like just depression uh, not, no fulfillment in being a parent because having a baby and being a parent are two different things mm -hmm. right and they don't enjoy the parenting part they don't mm -hmm. enjoy having to provide and actually take care of another human being and if you're noticing that it's really starting to take away at you you have anxiety deep depression, you're angry all the time, then now it's impacting your mental health and now you're not being the best person or the version of the person that you can be. So going to a therapist to help you feel some normalcy in what's going on to really understand like where is this emotion coming from of me regretting this decision and why did I make that decision in the first place? And are you stuck as a parent if you realize, well, I guess the hell you are. I mean, you can't just... Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, you're just <laughs> stuck, right? You are stuck, but if you feel like you are going to be abusive and mm -hmm. going to act out on your children, I would much rather you put your children up for adoption. And I know that sounds harsh, but try to find a home that they, that where people can love them, where they can receive the type of parents that they need. If you are unable to, trust me, there are agencies, there are people out there that will probably be able to take your children. Foster, I, I, and, and I know the system is really messed up, but I, I I know that people are aware of their hate in their heart. Mm -hmm. And if you're worried that that hate is going to come out, you could be on the next Fox News for something that you did. And if you don't want to do that, you need to take preventative measures. But it will take a hell of a toll on your relationship, especially if you're married and your significant Absolutely. other doesn't understand that this is just the way I feel. Yeah. It, it, that's why before you get married, you need to find out, do they want children or do I want children? And you guys have to be on the same page. You don't, it's a huge decision. It's a life changing decision. And if you want to have children, you need to find someone who wants children too. If you don't, you need to find someone who doesn't as well. You need to find someone that is equally yoked with you that want the same things because once you get married and you guys have differences of opinions, then what? You're going to drive yourself apart. You're probably going to get a divorce or it's going to cause resentment. Tough situation. Yeah. All right. It's always good to see you, Dr. Angela.